Hi guys, Mountain Rider Thomas here, and this is my second part of the how-to series on how to make a GoPro hat cam. And um, when I first started getting into video, I uh, got myself one of those hand cameras, kind of like the one I'm using right here. Um, and I went to Disneyland for the day with my family and after about four hours of holding up this camera like this really really hurt like not hurt but it was like very very uncomfortable um, especially for like all day shoot so I uh, came up with the idea of you know what could I use that would be easier to have this camera on all day without me having to uh, hold it up? And the idea I came up was, with was the using the GoPro camera, um, which um, I actually uh, didn't bring here to show you, but uh, uh, using a GoPro camera to uh, affixed to a, a baseball cap and I just happen to have one here this is my uh, happens to be my old logo now I'm right Thomas here and this is not my prototype I actually made another one and thing works great I mean except for the fact that I get stopped a lot by people who are just curious what's that on your head um, set a camera. I did this actually like when GoPro cameras first came out so um, not a lot of people had seen them. Nowadays you see them on all the reality shows all the time. You see them on like Mythbusters and uh, other television shows. You know Storage Wars, all those. Because they're just very very easy to use and very light and very convenient. So I'm um, going to show you how to uh, make a GoPro hat cam, which I kind of invented, but um, you know, what can you say? How can you prove something like that? So, um, anyways, let's get to the filming of this. So, get a baseball cap, um, something comfortable. I made this trucker cap because it had my logo on. Um, the first one I made, my first my first uh, hat cam that I made, I actually uh, had them stitch video cap in the top here because um, because I was getting so many questions by people at Disneyland and in other places when I would be filming. What is that camera? So in order to help curb that, I I. Uh, had him stitch video cap in there. So, but for this purpose, we're going to use this cap here. It's a very simple, easy thing. You just get a GoPro mount. Oh, one other, one thing before I get started, I do not take any responsibility for any um, damage to any cameras that you may have out there. Um, if you do this, it's on your own. It's, it's on you, and um, but I will say that my other GoPro hat cam I've had for three and a half years, and the thing is like welded on there. It's like, it's like I, would, I would lose the cap before I lost that mount. The thing is just affixed on there really, really well. So, so here's what I use. You have the hat, and you have the GoPro camera mount. Now for this one I'm going to use the slightly curved mount. Um, could be used for a helmet. Let me show you that like that. See how it's slightly curved? I uh, prefer that over the flat one uh, for this purpose. So um, pretty simple. Now, it's got a really, really super sticky sticker on here that by fixing it to this hat would, would 
probably do a pretty good job. Would do a pretty good job of trying to keep that on there. But um, I like to have mine like on for good. So I'm going to use uh, shoe goo right here. <clears throat> The reason I'm using shoe goo is that's because it glues really well to fabric and to plastic and this stuff once it's cured is really 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 hard for it to come off so um, I use this stuff it works great um, so that's what I'm going to show you here so what I'm going to do Take this shoe glue, and I'm going to fix this ge generously on the bottom of this. The bottom of this mount here. All right. See how much I used. You want to find the center spot on your cap here. Um, you don't want to have it too far to the brim. I haven't ever glued one to the brim like here, but um, I don't want to have the chance of having the end of the cap being in the picture. So I usually put it about a half inch uh, to the end here, right, like that. Make sure that you're make sure that you're centered on your cap. That's really important. You want it to be up and down. And then you just you just put it on. Just like that. All right. Well, if I wasn't getting a complete like weld all the way around, I would probably add to some spaces here. But it seems that I've done a real pretty good job there of, of getting it right in there. Now, let's see. When I'm sitting the cap down, I see it's not, it's not exactly perfect. So, you want it to be right in the very center of the height of the brim of your cap. And then, once it's been like a minute or so, what you can do is just gently like push down on the glue, just barely. Just so that it's, it's make sure to get it in those in those corner seals there. And there you have it, one GoPro hat can mount. Um, I know the GoPro comes with uh, that strap that you put around your head. and uh, It's not too attractive to me. This way you can at least tighten the hat down. Um, 
tight on your head. And you can walk around all day long and not have uh, your camera fall off. So, uh, or your, yeah. And it really takes a lot of the, the pain out of uh, having to hold up a camera. So um, that's it. Um, make it at your own risk. I don't want any kind of comments saying, oh, my camera fell off. But this is a really great invention and um, really is um, a great thing to have. So I've used it for um, hunting, anytime I go hiking, anytime I'm like out in the outdoors. You just turn on your GoPro camera, put it on your head, and you're good to go. So. That's it for today's show. I want to thank you for tuning in to my channel and I hope you enjoy the ride.